All right, everyone, welcome to part five, and this is where it gets crazy. What you're looking at is a video uploaded by the Jonathan Cleck, and the title of the video is The Lord of the Flies is on Fire. Now, I want to thank Jonathan Cleck. I've been in contact with him and for allowing me to use portions of his video, and he is going to give me a call a little bit later. Now, a quick recap. You need to go back, and if you have not seen part one, through four for this to make sense you're going to have to go back and watch part one through four now it began with a dream that I had um, where I'm walking in the desert and I come upon a pyramid and above the pyramid the clouds form the name Giza the sky turns black and there's a vortex and this forms into the name Antichrist in bright brilliant red and it begins to start dripping like blood so I go to work and coming home from work. I'm listening to uh, Here's here's where it all begins the confirmation uh, I'm listening to a radio talk show on the way home from work in my car and It's uh, the watchman on the wall program. Dr. Noah Hutchings and he has a special guest who has done research on the Antichrist, the Book of Revelation, and the title of the program is The Second Coming of the Antichrist. And they're talking about um, the pyramid in Giza and a 5,000 year old mummy and Nimrod and how they preserved his body for a resurrection. Now, I get up the next morning after listening to the radio broadcast and the first thing on my computer when I get on uh, YouTube is a video that I uploaded on December 3rd and the title of the article is December 3rd 2012 planets aligned with Giza pyramid for the first time in 2737 years I find it's very very odd here's Giza again the very next morning so I check my email and what do I find in my email this video is sent to me Lord of the Flies I'm thinking well I did a video I didn't know Jonathan did one on the Lord of the Flies I get busy I can't watch everyone's videos it's hard for me so I'm thinking okay they sent me this because it's a, a video on the Lord of the Flies when I get halfway through this video I about fall off my chair so I hope you are, are sitting down I don't have nothing hot that will spill this is sent to me by a dear friend who is a Bible scholar that has no idea of the events that are unfolding, the dream and then the radio broadcast. And they tell me, I think you need to watch this and let me know what you think. Let me play a portion of this. It's all going to make sense. Just, uh, first, I want to say God bless each and every one of you in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Messiah, the Son of God, who died on the cross for your sins. Uh, we're saved through faith by grace, and that is it, through faith by grace. All right, now, for time's sake, I'm only allowed 15 minutes, and there's so much to present, and I don't want to put you through a, a six-part series. So let me move on ahead, okay, just for time's sake. And it's going to make sense in just a moment. Because it's about the halfway mark is where I nearly fall out of my chair. Again, you need to watch part one through four for this to uh, make sense to you. Okay, and hopefully it's at this point. It's a phenomenon known as deja vu. Something powerful is coming. See it on February 3rd. Super Bowls in New Orleans. Yeah, I'm not saying anything. It's just something to point out. Um, this was sent to me from Five Doves. All right, I'm going to skip ahead just for a moment. Just for time's sake. The link will be below, and I want you to watch this video in its complete entirety. Let's try it at this point here. point out um, 
This was sent to me from Five Doves by Dave Shadow. This one was just a complete, incredible confirmation. Um, it's from a girl named Nicole. She posted this on Five Doves on the 24th, and she said that she was at a major football game, and this was a dream. And she looked to the east, and she saw a major nuclear mushroom. Okay, I'm just going to skip ahead because it's talking about the Super Bowl. And that's odd. Today is the third, the day of the Super Bowl, that I'm led to present this video. Out of uh, Obama's inauguration, she saw she was in the operating room, and there were scientists who were assisting Obama in becoming a resurrected pharaoh. I saw that he had some kind of DNA from ancient times, and she saw a mummy in the operating room. She saw a mummy in the operating room. Go back and watch the, uh, listen to the broadcast uh, on uh, the second coming of the Antichrist. Remember Todd's son's dream where he was shown Obama's face being half Obama and half mummy. And then Patrick, the missionary in the Philippines, was praying about his orphanage, and the Lord interrupted his prayer and said, Look up Akhenaten about the Antichrist. The first thing the Lord told me when he started showing me about the kingdom of the Antichrist three years ago, the first thing he gave me a word I'd heard before, but I would never use it, would never expect to hear it coming from the Lord, just out of the blue. I'm sitting here praying. Three years ago, I heard the word Akhenaten. Study Akhenaten. You know, there's people saying, Hey, Akhenaten looks like the current president. And maybe the Sphinx too, whatever. There may be something to that. I don't know. It's possible. I remember the Lord showing me a dream about a month ago, but it was a short dream. And I kept asking the Lord to give me revelation to the dream. There was a man on a horse with a chariot heading towards our way. And the Lord showed me who it was. It was Obama. It was Obama. Pharaoh is gathering his army for the New World Order, economic collapse, rapture, second coming. I'm going to put the link to this entire video. Please watch it so it makes more sense. Um, go back to the part where the girl has the dream that Obama is on an operating table and there is a mummy next to him and he's receiving the DNA. No, it doesn't end here. The chain of events, of prophetic events, continue. Now, as the days go by, this is all in, in just a, a week, a little over a week's time. I'm sent this video. Now remember the radio broadcast. This is sent to me uh, for me to watch and to get my opinion on. All right. And it's Seven Kings, Seven Heads of the Beast, Part 2. So now I'm thinking, you know, this is way too much for a coincidence. The final straw, I've been getting videos sent to me, and it's all regarding Nimrod, the Tower of Babel, Seven Kings, Seven Heads. I'm just trying, for time's sake. The straw that really broke the camel's back that convinced me that, you know, this is not a coincidence. I was just sent, uh, this is when I told my wife and my family, and then I presented at, uh, at our live service. This was sent to me. Spirit of Babylon, and I want to thank uh, the person uh, that made this video. I've been in contact with everyone and gotten permission uh, to use their video. Here we go. Take a listen. Nimrod, the Tower of Babel, just as in the radio broadcast, just as in the radio broadcast, Nimrod, Baal, was his Babylonian name, was a mighty hunter who was involved in the building of the Tower of Babel.
I want you to read this very carefully. I want you to read this very carefully. Remember how I have stated that Satan likes to mimic Yahweh and Yeshua. Now, in closing, we're going to do a follow-up video where we're going to have a question and answer, and we're going to have a discussion on these uh, chain of prophetic events that have taken place. Is it possible that the Antichrist will be resurrected, imitating, mimicking Yeshua? And will it be, rather than um, Agnaton, will it be Nimrod? Or will someone that is alive today, Barack H. Obama, will, as in the girl's dream, will they be given uh, the DNA of Nimrod, who was a mighty man, a warrior, a fallen angel, uh, the offspring, rather, of a fallen angel, and Nimrod was a Nephilim, will uh, Obama get the DNA, or has it already happened? Uh, has he already been cloned from Nimrod's DNA? Or who could it be? I just want to leave you with this, and I will do a follow-up video after enough people watch this, and we're going to have a, a major discussion, question and answers and discussion on this. I feel I've been led down this path, this direction, by the Holy Spirit, uh, taken me back to the time of Nimrod, back to the time of Egypt, uh, the pharaohs, um, the pyramids in Giza. I just wanted to bring this to all of your attention and present this, and we will have a follow-up video. Please, please leave me comments. And I want to thank Jonathan Clack, and I want to thank everyone uh, involved. God bless.